Hi guys, and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. This week we were at home and we were away. So our lunches were inspired by our travels. First up, we have lunch idea number one. And it also gives you a hint at where we're going later this week. So for this lunch, I'm starting with two Mickey Mouse waffles, which I've already lightly toasted. To go along with that, I'm also giving the kids a little container with peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this separate so the kids can make their sandwich themselves right before they're ready to eat it. It's a fun DIY and the sandwich will be nice and fresh for them when it's time to be eaten. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids a Baby Bell cheese and this is in the white cheddar flavor. And in this corner, I have a couple of these guys. They look like beef jerky, but they're actually made of turkey. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop in my Mickey and Minnie rings here. These are really just for fun. For our vegetable today, I'm giving the kids a few pieces of celery. I feel like that goes so well with a PB&J. And then in this last section, I wanna give the kids some fruit. So we're gonna have this freeze-dried apple crisps. We actually like to get these at Disneyland. And here's how we did. I actually think you guys did pretty good today. I see a little bit left in just about every lunch, but that's all right. What was your favorite part, guys? The waffle. The waffle. I, I see Lily has one waffle still. <laughs> I like how she put her jam in the in the ears of Mickey. It looks pretty cute. Was it just too much food for you today? Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite part, Jack? The turkey bites. The turkey bites. Yeah, that was good. We'll see you tomorrow. Next up, we have lunch idea number two. And I've started by giving the kids some of these pizza breadsticks. I find these at Walmart and they're really good. To go along with that, I'm going to give the kids a little bit of this pizza sauce to dip their bread in. Now since this is pizza themed, I'm also going to give them some cheese and some olives. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these emoji pics in just for fun. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite emoji is. For our vegetable today, the kids are getting broccoli and I'm not gonna forget the ranch this time. There's plenty of ranch for the kids to dip in. And finally, for the treat today, I'm going to give the kids a little tiny cookie. It just fits so perfectly in their lunch box. These are the Annie's brand Grabbits. They're called Grabbits, and they have a little picture of a bunny on the outside. And there we have it. This is super simple, and I think they're gonna love it. Here's, Here's what, what we ate. ate. So it looks like they really enjoyed lunch today. What was your favorite part? The grabbits. The little cookies? Yeah, do they taste like Oreos, but better? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I liked everything. You liked everything? I see Mackenzie has just a little bit of cheese left. Jackson ate everything, which is like a miracle. And then Lily, did you just get too full? Mm-hmm. You didn't eat any broccoli. <laughs> I was too full. See you tomorrow. Moving right along to lunch idea number three. And for today's lunch, I wanted to keep it super simple because after lunch today, we're headed down to Disneyland. So for this lunch, I'm giving the kids some scoopable chips. These are like tortilla chips. And I'm also giving them some guacamole to dip in. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna give them a few of these crinkle cut carrots. For our fruit, they're getting lots of red grapes. Oh yes, and I did not forget the ranch. I'm gonna put it in this cute little container. For their snack today, I'm including some of these date and nut bites. I get these at Trader Joe's. They have blueberries, almonds, and peanuts in there. There's also chia seeds and coconut. I think they're pretty good. And then for today's protein, I'm also <laughs> gonna give them some of this uncured salami. And I like to just roll it up and stick it on a pick. It makes it look really fun. Okay guys, how'd it go today? Good. good. What was your favorite part? Chips and guacamole. Chips and guacamole. That Chips was really guacamole. good? You liked it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh good, I see that you ate, you ate most of that. But I do see some grapes and some carrots left. And these guys, you didn't like these? No, but I ate all of mine. You did, good job uh -huh. Jack. Well, these are still good. I think I'll just snack on these. See you tomorrow. This next lunch idea is definitely inspired by our last trip to Disney. And if you follow us on Instagram, you can see all the pictures from our trip. But yes, this is Donald Duck themed. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of Donald. 
So for this lunch, I'm starting with some Greek yogurt, and this is the vanilla chocolate yogurt, and I really just picked this one because Donald is on the outside. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some blueberries, lots of blueberries. To go along with that, I'm also giving the kids some crackers, because I always think of crackers and quackers. It kind of goes with a the duck theme. For a special treat today, I'm also giving the kids some of these Donald-shaped cookies. Now these guys actually taste like a graham cracker and they come in this bag that I get at Disneyland. So I'm just going to put a few in there. I'm going to add this little Donald cupcake topper just for fun. I also wanted to include a hard boiled egg in today's lunch and so I used my daisy shaped egg mold because I thought since it was Donald theme, a daisy would go right along with it. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some cherry tomatoes. The colors for Donald Duck are definitely blue and white and yellow with a pop of red for his little bow. Oh yes, and I can't forget the special drinks. I have these good to grow drinks today. I could only find two Donald ones, so I'm also including a Daisy. Okay guys, what'd you think of today's lunch? Good, it was good. good. Yeah. But there was one thing that you guys didn't really like, and that was the yogurt. I know it's really cute because it has Donald on it, but I guess they weren't big fans of the vanilla and chocolate flavored yogurt. Was it weird? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I probably wouldn't buy those again, but everything else you guys liked. Lily, what was your favorite part? Um, the piece. cookies? Yeah. You still have a little piece left. Were you getting full? Yeah. What was your favorite part, Kenzie? My favorite part was the eggs. But, yeah, you like hard boiled eggs. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and welcome to lunch idea number five. We are back home from our travels. We had so much fun at Disney, and while we were there, we experienced all of the Halloween fun. So I definitely wanted to make a Halloween-themed lunch today, even though it's a little bit early. So I'm starting by giving the kids a turkey pepperoni and cheese sandwich. And I went ahead and used my cookie cutters for this. I have a large pumpkin shape and a small pumpkin shape, and I like to use a combo of white and wheat bread to make this effect. It's really actually pretty easy to do. To go along with this, I'm also giving the kids some pumpkin yogurt. This is the Nusa brand and it is so good. I'm gonna top our yogurt with some pumpkin flaxseed granola. It adds a nice crunch to the yogurt. And just for fun, I'm gonna add one giant sprinkle to the top and this is a pumpkin shaped sprinkle. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna add some carrots. In this back corner, I'm going to add just one little Halloween cookie. And I can't forget to show you the special Halloween pretzels. I found these at Target. For the fruit today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just gonna give the kids some of these Go-Gurt squeeze pouches. Some of them are strawberry and some of them are peach. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and it looks like they all really liked it. What'd you guys think? It was, it was awesome. Uh-huh. But what's up with the carrots? It's just will vary. <laughs> you no, didn't, it. You didn't <laughs> like. The, you didn't like the carrots. They had no ranch. Oh, no ranch, huh? Well, next time I'll give you guys ranch. Okay. But what did you say about the pumpkin sprinkle? Really good. Yeah. It was a jawbreaker. It was really hard. Uh huh. Oh, so they're cute, but they're not really that practical. Mm -hmm. But I like them. You like them? See you next week. Were you able to find the hidden lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know when you found her. Leave us a comment down below using the hashtag LunaLunchbox. That way we can choose you for next week's shout out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.